Hi everyone, this is Robin with MyPinkStamper.com and I have a super, super quick uh, winter, Christmas, holiday treat goodie for you to make. And it's super fast, that's why I'm calling it my super quick. I'm trying to do this whole video in under two minutes, so we'll see if I can do it. These are the materials that I'm working with. I'm working with Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set. This is the photopolymer stamp set and the coordinating bundle which is super fun. I'm using the two by eight cello bags, early espresso ink pad, and this is the new combo twine you can get in the holiday catalog, and these are available in the holiday catalog as well. And I'm using some of the special tea warmth and cheer designer series paper six by six pack. I'm using some Hershey's nuggets, some red glimmer, and then I only need one little scrap of crumb cake cardstock for this project. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cover Hershey's Nuggets. Super easy, I've been doing this for a long time, many, many years. I'm going to take one of the designs from this stack and I'm going to cut it at Let's see, how do I want this? I want this to go around like this. I'm gonna cut it at one inch first. So I'll cut it at five. And then I'm going to cut this at two, or at three. So you have enough to get, to cover two with just this one piece right here. And you're going to take your adhesive. I'm going to be using Fast Fuse. And I'm just gonna do one line on the back of it. And I'm going to take my Hershey's Nugget, put this on the top right here, and then just wrap it around. And I have a custom made little chocolate treat. Okay, so let's set that aside. And we're going to go ahead and take some that I've already wrapped up. And we're gonna grab one of our two by eight cello bags. And let's see, let me make my design how I want that to go in here. Okay. This is how I want it. So I'm going to start with the bottom. What I really like about the new two by eight is you can fit the Hershey's nuggets in them perfectly. They might've been designed just for Hershey's nuggets. I stick these all in here. This would be a great neighbor gift. Teacher or yeah, teacher. Maybe add a gift card onto it. Okay, so I just have this like this. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm just going to just add a little piece of tape on the back. The back's going to not be as noticeable once you add your twine on it. Just add a little piece, whoops, it's stuck to my finger. Okay, here we go. And it's going to look like this. And now we're going to take our twine here and get your scissors ready. Okay, so I'm gonna measure, because I'm gonna bring it around once, twice, okay. So I'm gonna put it right here. On the back. And then I'm just going to wrap it around like so. I'm gonna bring it right back around. And then I'm just going to cut it up at the top-ish. And here's my trick to doing a bow with twine. First thing I do is just do a little square knot so I just hold it with my finger, or just do a knot. Tie it twice instead of once. And that'll hold much better for you if you're going to tie a bow, and then tie a bow. Do your little quick and simple bow on here. This definitely will not be a two minute <laughs> video. It's already at four, almost five minutes, but it's still a quick treat if you can get these. <laughs> 
get the bow. Okay, so our next step, as soon as I get my little twine bow here, is, okay, I'm gonna tie, cut this off a little bit here. Now I'm going to take my crumb cake and I'm going to use the cute little gingerbread man out of here. Like so. And find a block that it fits. It looks like the gingerbread man fits on a D block. Okay. Ink it up with early espresso. And I'm going to stamp it on here. That is the only stamping for this whole project. And now open up your punch. And just punch it through. And now while we have the punch out, we're going to take our red glimmer paper and we're going to cut this little ribbon, our bow, out right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's take a glue dot. Where are my glue dots? Right here. And I'm going to take this bow and put the glue dot on the bow in the center. And I'm gonna add it to my little ginger girl's hair like that. So cute, isn't she adorable? And the last step we're going to do is take some of our dimensionals. I'm gonna do one, two, and then I'll do kind of one over here in a weird spot, just so it can attach to my cello bag. And then I have a cute little treat to give a neighbor or friend using the new cookie cutter bundle along with the cello bags and the designer series paper. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick video. Have a great day, bye.